back and just like that it's February already so it's really time for me to finish my brewing beer from scratch project and for that I will oh one second sorry about that uh, Okay, so last year I plowed the field, I planted my barley, I harvested barley, I dried the barley, then I trashed the barley and turned the barley into a malt. That was step number one. Step number two was I made some planters, I planted uh, my hops, I harvested my hops, I dried my hops and vacuum sealed it. And then step number three was I collected some material outside in the hope to capture some wild yeast and or bacteria to ferment my beer with. And I uh, cultivated uh, some uh, different techniques. You know, I did intermittent shaking. I had some apple juice. I used uh, malt extract, put it on the stir plate. Well, first we had a visual, you know, how does it look like? Does it look like malt? You know, is it, is it fuzzy? Is it green? Does it have weird colors? Then I'm just going to discard it. So I already made my first selection there. And well, then smell, you know, how does it uh, smell? All the samples smelled pretty good when I was cultivating it, but uh, except for <laughs> my, my sourdough starter. Uh, well, I tried to make a sourdough starter, but uh, maybe my flour was bleached after all because it didn't pick up. And if you could smell this, it really smells like, a, like glue. It's, it's very chemical. It's, I have never smelled something like this before, but... Uh, so yeah, sourdough starter, no, that's not a success. So what is left for me to do is uh, taste it. You know, how does it taste? Oh, well, one thing, I also didn't see a pellicle. I was hoping to find, to see a pellicle. You know, there's a good indication that you have uh, some yeast going on. I didn't see any, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I didn't capture any. But also the smell, you know, what am I hoping to uh, smell? Something... Uh, barnyard you know i'm hoping to smell some uh, some tobacco some uh, horse blanket um, some uh, yeah uh, <laughs> any kind of smell you can find on the uh, on the farm i'm hoping to uh, find that because that's a, a good indication of a brettanomyces uh, acidity when it comes to acidity well uh, lactic acid um, i don't mind bacteria that create lactic acid uh, lactic acid, by the way, I find out um, is used a lot now in mixed drinks as well, in cocktails. So I have to try some cocktails with lactic acid. Uh, anyway, so yeah, lactic acid is also fine, uh, but no acidic acid. You know, that it's this kind of vinegar bacteria that create these kind of vinegar smells. And the threshold is really low, you know, just a few bacteria like that and, and it, it soon your whole batch will smell like uh, like vinegar so any hint of it and i'm not going to use it another thing that i want to do is i want to spread some of my culture out on a, a growing medium because the way it it grows can tell you something about well your culture and you can see a distinction between bacteria and yeast so I want to try that out, but of course for that you need, well, something like a Petri dish. You can buy these Petri dishes uh, also with, with the medium in it. So that would be just the easiest way, but you know, <laughs> the easiest way is not the most fun way. Uh, so I'm going to do it myself. But then, you know, if you want to make these growing mediums, you need uh, something like gelatin or agar agar, which is actually better. Because uh, gelatin, well, it, it, it breaks apart more easily. Uh, it, it might turn into a liquid. It's not as stable as agar agar, uh, which comes from seaweed. So I'm going to make uh, my own uh, growing medium. Not in a Petri dish, because if you do that, well, you know, you, you need to be super duper sterile. Uh, you need to have like a still air box, uh, pressure cookers, things like that. I don't have that. So I, I came up with my own, uh, I just use it in, do it in these jars. So you have this, uh, I'm just going to open this one because I'm not going to use it. So you have this uh, growing medium, you can spread some on top 
and then uh, well hopefully we get to see something uh, growing on it maybe yes i'm going to try that we need of course also a control so i'm just going to dip this uh, dirty sponge in there Hopsa. let's see so this is going to be my control see if we can see something growing on this as well um yeah well um let's get started then okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make these jars filled with a growing media this is a malt extract agar mixture now the standard way of making these mea agar plates is by a first sterilizing the MEA mixture and then pouring it into the petri dish under sterile conditions and then you have to try to keep it sterile by taping the two parts of the petri dish airtight with some tape now to me that sounds like a whole lot of sterile so I'm just going to do something different So first I'm just going to fill my jars with an MEA mixture and then I'm going to sterilize my jar and the mixture with high temperature using my brew towers and the malt basket. It took about an hour before I saw the temperature reach 90 degrees Celsius and the, the sensor was not submerged so I was really measuring the air inside my uh, kettle. So I think in total it took me about two hours to sterilize my uh, jars. Here are my cold crashed cultures. The clear ones are the ones where I use malt extract. The cloudy ones are the ones where I used apple juice. With the small bottles, you can see there is not that much of sediment at the bottom. But I also just made a starter once. And the one that I put on the stir plate and the one where I use some intermittent shaking, well, they have the most sediment. There's no surprise there. Um, so now it's time to make a final starter for my uh, final blend. And this time I will add a little bit of hops. Oh, and as you can see the jar with the growing media, I put it upside down and this is well there's a little bit of condensation and in this way the water drips into the lid and you can just easily pour it out. I made a little scoop out of a piece of metal wire so I can scrape some of my culture onto my malt extract agar mixture. I did my best here to sterilize it with an open flame. If you want to do this the proper way, use an alcohol burner and then also put it really close to your plate. So any kind of wild bacteria floating around in your kitchen don't end up in your plate. Clearly my setup was not ideal, but <laughs> I think I will get a result anyway. Okay, well, I have to decide now what am I going to use because I'm just going to mix them. Uh, so I guess I just have to taste them. <laughs> I am not afraid. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with the pear. Well, it smells funky. It definitely has some uh, barnyard smell to it. Mm, not unpleasant. Mm. Nutty. Tastes nutty. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. But not, you know, not overly excited. But I'm going to use it because uh, it has a fun bread, bread smell. All right, the berry. Ooh. Ooh, this has way more bacteria in it. Mm. 
Mm. They're a large fun too. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Wow, that is a straight kombucha. Oh, mm. it's very tasty though. Wow. Mm. That is pretty acidic, but no vinegar. Mm. I'm going to use that too. Oh, that's very nice. Mm. Mm. Yes. All right, I'm just going to smell the, the other ones first because they were not very active. The wild, the wild pear. I know the wild pear started doing something, but not very. Let me just close them. Like tea. Hmm. Not bad, but not good. <laughs> tea. All right. Well, then uh, the herbs. I remember the herbs. They smelled really nice. Okay. Oh, yes. I hope it, ha, hope it smells or it tastes as nice as well. Oh. Yeah. Well, of course, I taste the herbs, yeah. Mm -hmm. But something very fresh and light underneath. Hmm. And somehow it has sparkles. Hmm. I, uh, <laughs> this one, uh, this one continued in my, uh, here, here we It's uh, lightly carbonated already. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm using it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm using that one too. This one was, oh, the flower. Because they're also carbonated. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it was definitely active while it was still in the fridge. Okay. Doesn't really smell much. Mm. Mm. It's not acidic, so I assume it's just some Saccharomyces, which is uh, handy. Okay, well, I have to decide now what I'm going to use. And I think I'm just going to use it all. I mean, I have uh, quite some lactic acid, that's for sure. But uh, I kind of like it. So, um, and the rest, the ones that didn't taste like anything, I also didn't see a pellicle. So I, I assume that's just some kind of boring yeast, which is okay. We need some boring too, you know, we need some, some yeast just to... Uh, to do the work. Oh hey this apple juice. Shoot, what did I put in apple juice? Oh <laughs> I have to well I, I will look back. Alright. Lightly acidic as well. It doesn't mean, yeah, some, uh, some funk as well. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Definitely. It smells like a biodynamic wine. <laughs> it's, uh, mm. Yeah, I'm going to use that too. I'm going to use it all. Um, I was thinking of making separate batches. Um, but I think I'm just going to combine it all. And then uh, see where we end up. So I'm going to put it in clear bottles. Of course I have to um, protect it against light because I use some hops now. Um, well, well, that's okay. Okay, while well, I was busy I decided to make two batches anyway. Since this has the most lactic um, acid, I'm going to uh, lactic acid Oops, with wild pear. One and two. I'm just going to write it down. One, two. So the one with more lactic acid producing uh, bacteria. And the other one, it's going to be more funky, hopefully. One funky and one fresh. We have one barnyard and we have one kombucha. We will see, we will see, but we have something going on. So my brewing beer from scratch is almost done. Um, then there is the tiki bar that I need to finish, but well, in February can still be uh, super cold here in Sweden. So it's still freezing right now. Uh, I need to pour a little bit of concrete for the post. That's something I, I, I cannot do yet. But then I was thinking, maybe I can refurbish some barrels. I've done it before, it's really fun. Might be a nice uh, video. And then maybe I can fill them up again. I feel like, I yes, yes, I'm going to do that. Refurbish a barrel and then fill it up. All right, well, hope to see you again next time.